you know I pretty much haven't thought of doing this I haven't thought I haven't done this and this but I thought maybe a DVD update uh, could um, DVD update could do good because I have few DVDs that I got from July and August I reckon yeah August you know, this week is this week which I got on Saturday no it's Saturday no it's Friday I got some uh, like three DVDs and in, Ju in July I got Five titles, five titles. As you can see, I got pretty much crap loads of DVDs. Mainly some of these are towards the tank engine titles. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty much going all the way from the bottom to up at the top, which you can't see, really see. Yeah, I just place these at the bottom and I just go around through these. As it's pretty much such the children's party. I've actually got uh, two DVDs, these, the two of them. Yeah, they're in there at the moment, basically, but, yeah, basically, these are, like, some, they add, like, little segments of, like, City Richards with his suit with him, uh, but the, unfortunately, these ones don't, and the, the new DVDs don't, like, The Magic Show and this, and I'm pretty sure one rabbit one probably won't have it, uh, have one either, either, but I'm pretty surprised, it's in 2013, yeah. It's pretty much pretty much standard. Yeah, I can't wait for the new city series that's gonna be out in sep that's coming uh, this September. I pretty much have no idea what time it is. Probably at its regular schedule at nine, which I will be yeah, ticked off if it is at nine. I'll be definitely ticked off because at that time I'm at school, so, oh, which is a shame. I just want the recent Thomas title complete series fourteen. Now this. People will say this is probably the worst out of Thomas series, along with series 15, but, uh, yeah, I've seen some of these episodes and some of these actually rate horrible. I think, yeah, like the one, uh, uh Thomas does a draft to the animal park, but I don't know if this is the worst series, probably series 15, that one was, that was absolutely complete painstakingly crap torture. Um, yeah, and it introduces Bash Dash and Ferdinand, but they were already introduced in uh, Mr. Yarn of Rescue and the Scruff. As what well, uh, was introduced to is. Um, and there's a book for Keep Looking Thomas, uh, pretty much enough in special, really, except it's promoting for the new King of the Railway film. Well, I am actually going to what I am actually going to see King of the Railway at uh, View Cinema in Meadowhall. Gonna be great, hopefully. The film will be great. Uh, pretty much, this is one of the new ones I got on Friday. Uh, Friday Pokemon Heroes the movie. Uh, do you can tell this is the newer re release because of the Miramax logo? Uh, the original, you know, down the bottom. Uh, pretty much, the original release didn't have that. And it was by Bonnie Vista Home Entertainment. If you've never before seen Pokemon's short, I'd actually be surprised if it wasn't. And if it was a Disney short, that's something stupid. But yeah, this is pretty much released a re-release re by Studio Canal. This is after uh, Disney uh, didn't pretty much didn't care about Miramax and they just sold it off. And a few of their titles were also released under Lion's Gate as well. Pretty much probably get um, another one of the DVDs, like Pokemon Forever. Uh, I, it wasn't, uh, Pokemon Forever wasn't an HMV. It, it, I went to Sheffield and bought this. I pretty much watched an HMV but it was with Disney The Oxoys. I'll hopefully soon buy that title. A special features on this one include the location scouting of Nice, the Pokemon of Pokemon Heroes, Cat Pikachu Short, which basically never before seen one, trivia game and the animation stages. Exclusive 20 minute never before seen Pokemon Short, not seen in cinemas or on television. So yeah, this is pretty much new. It doesn't say when it was released. They always keep it like, um, yeah, uh, Heidi sort of thing. But I said the original release was 2003, for the original, it was this released in 2002, but, yeah. And this pretty much uses Buena Vista design as well. You can tell, it has the exact same one as Buena Vista, but it just removes their name and puts it with Studio Canal. And yeah, pretty much for the Lionsgate release, they keep the original disc design, but uh, this one it actually has a new disc to it, but... As the DV uh, you're wondering, has the DVD the actual DVD changed? No, because it, when I checked the opening to this, uh, 
Uh, this actually still has one of his to home entertainment logo on the DVD, so I'm pretty much surprised that they just they just are lazy people and they fall. Mm, mm, try and change the DVD opening, you know what? Screw it! People don't care about DVD openings. Oh well, we might as well just keep the original opening. <laughs> but still, I haven't watched this film yet, so I'll think about seeing it soon. This is another, another one I got in July, the Cannonball Run. And these car crash or thingy movies. I don't know if this is a car crash or thing movie, but this is digitally restored and remastered, in, and this one's a widescreen version. At first, I thought this was a 20th Century Fox DVD because 20th Century Fox actually made the film, but this is actually from Medusa Pictures. Yeah, Medusa Pictures, you pretty much did a lot of titles for like video rental things. And special features, pretty much nothing special really. Uh, and he has Dolby Digital 5.1 audio trailers and blah 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 blah, all this stuff that really aren't special features. And yeah, the prints they had is from a uh, Chinese thing, you reckon? Because it says it's from licensed by Media Asia. That means uh, at the opening of this, they, it actually omits the 20th Century Fox logo, which is like a um, variant of it. And I'm pretty surprised that they got rid of that that logo to be to be very surprised um, if you've seen it i have seen it on youtube one time but yeah they got rid of it and this was 2001 this is but this just has actually has to me just your pictures logo at the beginning of the tape i mean not the tape the dvd the disc i'll try in dvd quality if it is in DVD quality, so I'll try to upload the logo in DVD quality as soon as possible. Our next title, uh, Die Another Day, which is a 007 movie from the MGM. I actually, and somebody, I've got some cult movies to show you, but this isn't part of a 007 movie. I have no idea why I bought it, but I do have some a few double like a few 007 titles on VHS. Yeah, they're, they're, you can't you can't really see the back of it but it's like over there but yeah people say this is probably the weakest out of the Bond films I've not seen it but it, this does look a bit weak for a Bond film two disc DVD fully loaded with over 10 hours of special features Sp special edition apparently as yeah this does like two discs and it's crap loads of special features let's see yeah oh yeah this does have a other side of collector's sleeve as well. Uh, we got Bond for disc one and whoever she is. What's her name? What's her name? Hal Berry, yeah, Hal Berry on the second disc. And it comes with like, like a few stuff here, like like a guide that tells you about the Bond movie, uh, MGM questionnaire, and a advert for the Broadway musical Chi Chi Bang Bang, which was at the London Palladium. So yeah, and that's day day and dying of a day. The other one I got was the magical world of Winnie the Pooh growing up with Pooh, which this is basically a compilation of episodes that basically were from the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh, basically, which is uh, one of my favourite TV shows. Apparently, I remember having a few episodes on video. So yeah, I'm, I'm hopefully going to try and collect these ones. So this is the first one I got. Um, I got this one from Ingabels. Basically, there was another version of this that had it in the original design. Uh, uh, this was the one that's in the Dis Disney design whole thing. The episodes in this one are Cloud Cloud Go Away, possibly from last season. Me and My Shadow, possibly in second season. Easy Come Easy Go for from the third. And Vox Stops here, probably the third se series. It's 48 minutes, and the only special feature is Tigger and Roo's Balloon Bounce. I've not seen it. And played it, but it will look a bit. But I say, look a bit crap. Um, it does have a segment that is segments that are really uh, low budgetary, like puppets or things. And uh, sadly, the new adventures theme has been taken off and replaced with a crap sort of theme. But the original end credits for these episodes remain. And I got also got to this one, which this one is Winnie the Pooh, which was the all new movie. Um, it's pretty much actually. It's this is actually quite well made. I've not. I, I've, I haven't seen the entire movie. I've watched various uh, parts of it, but it does actually look quite good. It is actually quite good. A special features of Tony Miss Bernice Patillo contains deleted scenes introduced by the 
director, actually two directors, and bonus short Ballad of Nessie, which I pretty much haven't seen it and probably might not. And we have your standard, actually, Lamo Boring Grey Disc, and just for your leaflets, one, this one is for Movie Awards, the Disney Me magazine with the two Winnie Pooh one apps for the video game, Interactive Friend, I've considered trying to buy it, Glow Go Light, Glow Go Clock, Puggies for some weird reason, uh, Disney Blu ray, Lion King DVD, and uh, Great Ormond Street Hospital Children Charity, and the Movie Awards thingy. There we are, that's Winnie Pooh, good movie, actually quite good. And last two MGM titles, this one is It's a Mad 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 Well. This has nothing to do with Mad Magazine whatsoever, it's a part of movie time. Yeah, this actually looks like it good. I'm not seeing it, probably will watch a few scenes of it soon. But it's got crap loads of stars like Sterling Holloway, as you can see, who went on to be the first voice of Winnie the Pooh. Uh, the Three Stooges, uh, Arnold Sang, and a few more. Uh, pretty much no bonus features whatsoever. Bare Bones Disc, which only has the theatrical trailer. That's from 2004. And uh, this, uh, this, this says it's from 2002, so this probably was the when it was released. And uh, the final DVD I got was Peter Sellers in the Party, which is maybe the exact same people who create, created the Pink Panther, Blake Edwards, of course, and a special edition, which comes with tw two discs, but surprisingly, this doesn't say it has two discs. The special features include a new technology featurette inside a party documentary, vintage interviews with Peter Sellers, free profiles, Peter Sellers, Barclays, Gang commercials, the original trailer and the photo gallery. It was made in 2009, as you can tell by the 20th Century Fox logo. Now both of these are low pitched. Now both of these times these are low pitched for some weird reason, I'm not sure why. And this says it was released in 2004. So yeah, that's it. Basically, I have a few good titles I got there, and hopefully, uh, doing the next few August and for the six week holiday, I'll probably be able to find some more DVDs. So until then, that's it for the DVD update.